Hey everybody, this is Firegun522 here with my 17th hammer tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make reflective glass. Now, <clears throat> there's something about this, you can only do this in the orange box engine. I'm sorry people who don't have the orange box, y'all should have it by now. I mean, honestly, it's been, what, six years? Well, no, not six, sorry. <laughs> Three years. I'm thinking of Half Life 2. It's been three years, and so I'm pretty sure you should have the Orange Box engine by now. If you don't, please just watch a different tutorial because you can't do reflective glass. Okay, so what we're gonna do is from Steam, we're gonna go ahead and go to Source SDK, load that up, and then we're gonna choose the Orange Box engine, of course, because only we get to use it. And we're going to use the game, I'm going to use episode 2. Okay, now we're going to load up Hammer Editor. Once we load up Hammer Editor, we're going to open up our map where we want the glass. And for me, I'm working on my house. <laughs> working on making it. Okay, so now we need to choose where we want our glass. I want this right here on like my the bar of my living room. Now, since this is where I want my... Oh, hold on, let me get rid of these entities. Okay. This is where I want my glass. In between, right here. So what we need to do is we need to go to Browse, type in No Draw. Okay, now, we go to our XZ or whatever. It's X Z for me. It could be X Y for you. I don't know. Or Y Z. I don't know. Okay. Now, once we have it in the area where we want the window, uh, I'm gonna scoot it in a little bit. And I gotta remake it now. Okay. Now, when we have our no draw placed down. If, if it disappears, make sure that this button right here is not, like, unchecked. Like, make sure it's pushed in. Now, once we have our, um, our no draw place down, we're going to go ahead and press Control-T. And we're going to go to Funk, or we're going to change the class to Funk Reflective Class. And you can see it gets all this. We don't really need any of this because... It'll, it'll reflect automatically. Now, we're not done yet. We need to go to the texture application tool. Then we're going to hit browse. We're going to type in glass. Or reflect. Reflective. Okay, and then right where it says reflective glass 01, we select it. We click on the top face. And then we go down to Reflective Glass again and press Apply. Now you can see, we have a, whoa. That's weird. <coughs> Sorry. Um, anyways, besides the weird texture error, you can see that the other sides are no drawn, and then we have the glass. Some things that you need to know about this is if you have... Reflective glass, you can only have one in the same area being rendered as another one. So, if I have glass here, <clears throat> I can't have reflective glass over here because they can see each other. They have to be in like a different section of the map, like cut off by like an area portal or something. Same goes for this and expensive water. If you have water that um, that reflects in real time, as in it's not a cheap texture like this, the depth waters I think are cheap. I don't know, but if you have a <clears throat> a real time re real time shader in the same area or like PVS is what they call it, then 
you won't be able to see it. You'll get like this weird effect on it. Like you look at it and then like your screen moves up and it's like a called hum, I think. <clears throat> but anyways, um, that's how you make reflective glass. I made it to where only one side is the glass because if you have glass here and like you have the whole thing glass, you can stand right here where you're facing this and then in here you'll see that. Or you can go over here and then you'll see that. It's weird. But don't have more than one reflective glass in the same PVS as the other one. Well, this has been FireGuy522 with my 17th Hammer Editor tutorial teaching you how to make reflective glass. Have fun. Don't burn yourself.